Coming up uh, on this like 100 day, right? Action plan. Uh, I mean, was 100 days even going to be enough time to put an action plan in place here with China? No, 100 days was obviously never going to be enough time. And that's okay if the next 100 or 200 or 300 days we have a, a sensible plan. But what I'm worried about is going into this meeting, I think the Trump administration is focused on the wrong things in dealing with China. Okay, so the wrong things meaning what? Well, there's a long list. Start with the obsession the Trump administration has with the trade deficit, when in fact the trade deficit's not a scorecard and it doesn't necessarily have a bad impact on our economy. Or the focus on steel. Uh, Chinese, China accounts for 3% of our steel imports. So it's an issue, but should it be the focus? Shouldn't we really be focused on the bigger issues that could help U.S. companies and workers, like in the digital economy, in pharma, mm. in financial services, in accounting, in legal? Uh, you know, Andy, it's, it's a good point. I want to bring up a chart, though, when you mentioned uh, steel, and I want to just show our viewers this chart. It's uh, G hashtag BTV79. Two nine, and it does show, right, some supportive data of, of, of what the U.S. says, which is China is just uh, cranking out that steel and dumping it on the markets. On the white line here, you can see that their output just far outpaces uh, the other 65 countries, uh, as you can, as is represented by the blue line, and, and certainly by what the U.S. Uh, produces as well. So they have those numbers to back it up. Uh, it. it, it it does become, you know, the hardest issue. Do you, you know, just whatever you, you know you say about the opinion about whether or not they should be tackling this issue. I'm not even sure if it's, it's even going to be addressed tomorrow. Well, I can't see your chart, but I don't think that necessarily we have that big of a problem because China is the world's biggest steel producer, but it's also the world's biggest steel consumer. They only export about 10 percent of their production, and hardly any of that comes to the United States. We import five times more steel from Canada than we do from China. So let's stipulate that steel is an issue, but why make it the focus when there's so many other issues which could benefit U.S. consumers and U.S. companies?